Got a really nice one poking through the sand here. Oh. A fossil hay from CFA. What's up, paleo patrons? Ashbigail here, owner of Charleston Fossil Adventures, and out here for part two of the June Patreon collecting expedition. You might notice a couple of things that are different this time. One, I'm wearing long sleeves in the middle of June. Two, I'm wearing just glasses and not sunglasses because it's pretty cloudy today. Um, and so, it is uh, in the low 60s right now, which is quite unusual for Charleston during the summer. Uh, so we're enjoying a bit of a reprieve from the heat and humidity that we normally get out here. But things have started off to an okay start. We've got a uh, pretty large lumbar vertebra there from a uh, big whale. A little tumbled uh, and it did break in half um, when it came out of the mud but we'll get that one cleaned up and both halves will be sent off to someone for the month of June. And I also did get a fossilized shark dorsal fin. Not quite, this is a uh, rudder from a paddleboard, but it does look a lot like a shark fin. So we will um, see, actually the sun's coming out right now, that's the first time for it uh, today, um, but we'll see what good stuff we find today. 30 minutes out from low tide. Look what we got uncovered. A tiger shark tooth from the modern species of tiger. And not too far away, boom. Big old Angustodons. Nice. We've got a nice tooth from the extinct great white shark, Carcharodon hostalis with the smooth edged teeth. Showing through the sand right here. And he is mostly complete. Pretty typical for sites like this to have a little damage, but still a nice find. Just landed at site number two. Got a really nice one poking through the sand here. Oh, and that is all there. This one looks like it's going to be from the Miocene ancestor of Megalodon, Carcharicles chubutensis. So that one is nice enough that I will put it with the others in the individual raffle that is going on at the end of this month. And there's another peeking through the sand. And that's about all there was. Well, here's an unexpected hiding place for a nice little complete Carcaracles tooth. Hey there guys. I am out here on the edge of Charleston Harbor, I'm going to do some walking around and see if I can't get a few more things to include in the packages for June. And uh, it's pretty windy today, but it's sunny and looking forward to some good finds. So let's see what we can get. Okay guys, got the first significant find of the day. A really nice lumbar vertebra from a small dolphin. And just like that, we're on them. Right there. Nice little member of the Megalodon lineage. Okay guys, well it's the first time I've actually had to pull out the camera since coming out here today. And it's for a really nice Mako. So this is a tooth from Isiris oxyrhynchus which, believe it or not, is the same species of Mako still swimming around in our oceans today.
Okay, Benadini's, here is your material. Got some whalebone fragments up here. Some sea cow or manatee bone fragments right there. A couple pieces of shark coprolites, including this really beautiful colored one. Lots of various ray teeth. Some fish tail bones, some members of the Megalodon lineage, lots of shark vertebrae, a couple of sections of dolphin jaw bones. Get this one in the frame for you. See that? All right, that one's a section of a dolphin tooth. Got some dolphin vertebrae, steinkerns, sea turtle shell, and lots of very angular fish bones and vertebrae up there. Okay, supporters, here is the complete set of teeth. Going through, we've got everything in this field of view is a member of the Megalodon lineage. Most of them are the precursor Carcharicles angustidens. And there is also a juvenile megalodon tooth right there. These eight are the raffled off teeth and vertebrae. Of course, a shark vertebra, a mako tooth, and then all of the others are angustidens, with the exception of this guy, which is Carcharicles chubutensis, that one-time precursor of Megalodon. Everything in this pile is an extinct tiger shark. Lots and lots of snaggletooth shark teeth here. Got some Excellent quality ones in there. A little smaller are the bull and the reef shark teeth. We've got the sand tiger shark teeth here. Lemon shark teeth. Stingray spines, various stingray teeth, a piece of tooth enamel from a taper, lots of little barracuda teeth, three thresher shark teeth. A good little handful of hammerhead shark teeth here. Again, things like these three piles are going to be in little bags to make sure you don't confuse them with the bull sharks. Got three of the modern tiger sharks. Some nice great white sharks. Oh, and this big guy is going to be one of the ones that is raffled off. The extinct great white shark, Carcharodon histalis. Got some dolphin and whale teeth in here. And some true mako shark teeth belonging to the Isurus genus. And that just about does it. Okay, and here is the rest of the material. We've got some deer antlers from the Ice Age, wintel trap shells, five stingray spines, all have barbs present on the side if you look close enough, a pile of shark vertebrae, a pile of steinkerns, 
loads of fish vertebrae and other bones. Don't get these little tail fin rays confused with stingray spines or stingray teeth. These are pretty glassy on the inside where they have fractured. So just something to look for on those. We've got a smaller pile of whalebone here. I did not include all of it in this video just because this is a good representation of what it looks like. Back further, we have some barnacles. We have a huge number of whale and dolphin vertebrae this month. And not just a huge number, but some that are absolutely massive. All right, we've got a set of burr fish teeth, sea robin fish skulls, a long burrow from a ghost shrimp, ivory from the tusks of mammoths and mastodons, the base of a sloth tooth. That is a really neat one. So that'll be in a small bag. Lots of horse tooth enamel from the Ice Age. Solitary coral. Shark coprolites. So fossilized shark poop is going to have that pretty orange surface on it. And it should also, excuse me, have some whirls or folds in there as well that you'll be able to see. A huge pile of sea turtle shell. Again, I do have more, but I left it out of this sorting video. Two fossilized sea urchins, uh, like the sea biscuits of today. Pretty neat. A big chunk of fossilized oyster shell. Some Native American pottery that's 4,000 years old. We've got fish tail bones. These are called hyperals. And last, but certainly not least, some ear bones from various whales. So this is a process off of a mysticete or a baleen whale ear bone, and then some bullet back there.